This is where I went to art school. Ta-da! So just some background info for anyone who doesn't know me. I went to art school straight out of high school, so I was 17 going in and 21 coming out. I got a Bachelor of Design with a concentration in character design, but I also focus heavily in graphic design. Since graduating, I've worked at a company as a full-time production designer doing in-house design and illustration with some freelancing on the side, but as of recently, I have now transitioned into full-time freelance. So far, my experience has been in social media marketing, infographic design, web design, motion graphics, illustration, and branding. And I am a Slytherin, Aquarius, and just a all-around fun time. So just a little disclaimer, some things you should know about my art school take. Um, everything I'm going to say in this video is based on my experience and my takeaways going to art school. I'm coming from a spot of really loving my art school experience, so I'm kind of biased towards that side of things. I lived at home when I was going through school, so my expenses were relatively low. I did graduate with a decently sizable stack of student loan debt. My takeaways are from the point of view of the design stream as opposed to the fine arts side of things, so illustration, graphic design, advertising, and character design. So therefore, I only have insights and experience in that field. So with that mega intro out of the way, let's get into the 10 pros and cons of going to art school. smells like weed over here. I'm very much praying that I do not get kicked out <laughs> because I don't know if I'm technically allowed to be here. Okay, so into the pros of going to art school. Pro number one, learning and growth as an artist and designer. Hello, security guard. Okay, locking the door is cool. I'm starting with this point because it's the most subjective. If you spend four years dedicated to making art and learning about art, obviously you will improve. During my four years attending art school, my quality of art and my understanding of design concepts went from like zero to 100 real fucking quick um, relative to if I didn't go to art school. I always like to bring up the point that yes, in today's age of two months of free Skillshare in every other video that you watch on YouTube and a new learning based online platform popping up every few months, it is very possible to do all of this learning and improving on your own for a fraction of the cost. The internet is an amazing tool for learning and growing your art and design skills and allows for the opportunity to pursue an education if expensive schooling is just not an option. However, if you do have the means to pay for tuition and or support yourself while you're going through school, I will always 100% vouch for attending school the traditional way. Depending on the school, of course, some schools are just not fucking worth putting yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, um, but that's my opinion. But why? Why do I vouch for a traditional school setting? Let me go into my second pro atmosphere and motivation. When you're in a traditional art school setting, you are constantly surrounded by amazingly talented and creative peers and mentors throughout your entire career there. There is just way more opportunity and motivation to grow as an artist and designer if you're surrounded by like-minded people who you can collaborate with, compete with, and be inspired by. It's easy to think like, I'm gonna do all these things and be dedicated to do this and do the work and study and da da da, but just like I've been putting off studying and learning Japanese for like literally a decade, without the urgency and the structure of a school setting and people around you working towards a common goal, it's just way too easy to procrastinate and end up never doing the thing that you set out for yourself in the first place. It's definitely possible, but without those four condensed years of an institution literally setting you up to succeed with deadlines and professors and people to help you along the way, it'll probably take a lot longer. It's super easy to commit to something in the moment, but without the accountability of paying tuition and academic rules in place, it's way easier to put it off for later if you know that there's no real consequence for doing so. Speaking of peers and mentors, pro number three, connections and friends. How nice. My four years at art school had set the stage for me meeting a handful of really amazing mentors and peers that will probably continue to influence me and be important to me for the rest of my life. Here's an institution where you're stuck with the same people for four years, all with the same end goal in mind, with their own strengths and weaknesses, 
with their own dreams and aspirations in life. And you have this opportunity to collaborate together and grow together. Learning and growth from actual classes aside, you also learn so much from the people around you. That's half the value, in my opinion. If you attend art school and don't collaborate with your peers or try to learn from them as much as you're learning from your professors, you'll really, really be missing out. And then once you graduated, these people are your connections. You come out having built this community of support and love and growth as you continue on to build your career and creative lifestyle. The group of friends that I have been blessed to be a part of throughout my four years of college, um, we still interact regularly and we've been graduated for like a year and a half. We send job opportunities to each other and um, ask each other for help when we're working on something which needs like an extra set of eyes or something or another opinion. And it's just like a really nice supportive community that solely belongs to art and design because I have other friends that obviously I love dearly and I love hanging out with and stuff but it's nice to have that that group that has been through the same thing that you've been through and you literally came up together through school and I feel like it would be hard to make those connections when you're just learning online I guess yeah you get what I mean you can't buy that shit and then obviously with your friends and connections you get the fourth pro. Okay, sorry, I gotta put my sunglasses on for this one. Hello bright and hello windy. I hope the audio is okay. All right, so that's not what I was gonna say. Okay. Um, experiences. Why does it smell like perfume? A lot of smells out here. I feel like the reason why younger generations are putting more value on experiences rather than physical items is because experiences are just worth way more. A four-year experience, oh my god, it's so windy. A four-year experience doing something you love surrounded by your friends and the shit that you fucking are passionate about, that shit's priceless. At least it was to me. The four years I spent in school were some of the most fondest and most cherished memories that I have. Um, so sorry to interrupt editing leech here. Um, I look fucking rank and I'm not wearing any clothes, but I'm just gonna insert some voiceover to cover this portion of the audio because it is, it is literally like <laughs> okay i will play it for you so yes please excuse the slight disconnect between what my lips are saying and what uh the audio is because that is crazy okay anyways continue there was a lot of growth and challenges, which were fucking brutal to go through at the time. Um, but looking back, I'm nothing but grateful for those experiences. I worked harder than I ever had before, and it taught me work ethic, and it set me up to succeed in any kind of difficult task or job that I might run into in the future. Some of my favorite trips were during my college years with my college friends. I got to explore LA and New York for the first time. These were my first trips without any family and with full freedom to do whatever I wanted. And it made me really, really truly appreciate and love how lucky I am to travel. Now all of this is good and great and happy and lovely and friends, you know? But um, in terms of the technicalities in the industry and creating a career in art and design, I'll bring up my fifth pro. The benefits of a degree. Okay, so yes, arguably, in art and design, all that matters is how strong your portfolio is. And I believe in that 100%. Particularly on the illustration side, there are plenty of successful illustrators and artists who were able to survive and thrive in the creative industry without ever going to an art school. However, obviously if you have the opportunity, a degree will definitely help. Especially in the corporate world, if you wanted to get an in-house position somewhere, a degree is like a large and established institution saying, you can trust this person to get this job done and get it done well. A portfolio is the most important. How strong of an illustrator or designer you are will always be the factor that gets you the job or not. But when a company or a client is looking at two candidates with similar skill levels, good people skills, they'll most likely go with the candidate who has a degree. Having that degree also gives you a bit of a backup plan if a career in art and design kind of takes off a little slower than you'd hoped. Just having a degree if you're applying for a job in a completely unrelated field can show that you have credibility and they're probably less likely to regret hiring you. This is unfortunately the shitty system that we live in and half the time a degree just shows that the individual has had enough privilege in life to afford post-secondary. 100% you know you want to get a degree, study something that you're actually passionate about, not something that will get the approval of your family or society or something that will make you the most money. 
that's a whole ass other discussion that um, I will get to maybe in another video, but uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So these will probably be run through a lot quicker than my pros because like I said uh, in my little disclaimer, I am definitely pro art school. But with that, I did want to be honest about the possible cons of going to art school. So just with that said, let's start with number one. It may not be worth the tuition. What? A degree in the arts may not be worth putting yourself hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt? Hmm. <laughs> In all seriousness, I was very lucky to be able to go to school in this mostly, most of the time, wonderful country, Canada, where getting a good education doesn't necessarily mean putting yourself in a black hole of debt, but rather just putting yourself in more of a, a deep well of debt. It can be substantial, but just not nearly as ridiculous as the States. For reference, um, one semester when I was going to ACAD or AU Arts was around max, like, $3,000. Canadian. Whereas if you were to go to Art Centre, for example, I'm not saying that these two institutions are equal on any grounds or whatever, just comparing it because I, I am familiar with the with the comparison. Hello car. Um, I believe it's somewhere around $22,000 US for a semester at Art Centre, which is insane. I don't know what the conversion is, but I'll put it here in Canadian. That's crazy. That's fucking not worth it. <laughs> So obviously, depending on the access that you have to funding, or if you're able to work during school, or if you can live at home to minimize expenses, art school just might not be worth the price tag of putting yourself, in some cases, in a literal lifetime of debt. You can pay a whole fucking lot less taking online courses while still getting the valuable education and everything that you would be getting, I guess, in an art school, just at like a fraction of the cost. That's all I'm saying. Con number two, people generally won't take you seriously. This was something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way um, while I went through school and still kind of does today. If you go to art school, depending on your background or community, you may be ridiculed for your career choice. Generally speaking, pursuing a career in the arts, surprise, surprise, is not taken seriously in society. And that is reflected on people who you may interact with. This is kind of speaking to the whole arts industry as a career choice. You will always run into people who don't take you seriously because you're pursuing a career that isn't in science or business. But this isn't something to deter you from pursuing your passion. It's just a part of it that kind of sucks that you need to deal with. When I decided to go to art school, it was kind of a running joke at family gatherings that I'd play the role of the starving artist when I graduated. My mom obviously was super worried when I told her I wanted to go to art school because obviously it's not a very safe path to take in life. But I was very headstrong about my choices and just really couldn't imagine myself doing anything else for the rest of my life. So I powered through art school and made it far enough to get by. Oh my god, it's so windy, I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta speak this way so I can block the wind. <laughs> But even now, thinking about the challenges and the shit that I'm gonna have to go through probably um, in this career, it'll still very much be worth it when I'm like 60 and I look back and I see that I, I pursued my fucking dreams. I chased them. <laughs> um, so yeah, con point turned motivational speech. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, con number three. Do, 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 do. All right. Can I go up there? Literally, if somebody comes and like runs up to my camera and steals it, I, I won't be able to come down and stop them. So number three, you may be at the mercy of very close-minded professors. God, it's hella windy up here, isn't it? So just like any school or institution, you're kind of at the mercy of your authority figures. With art schools, sometimes instructors can be kind of conservative, if that's the right word, I don't know. Just in terms of like, the kind of art that they find valuable. Not to get mixed up with learning fundamentals. Obviously that's very important and you need to follow a strict set of rules in order to learn these things. But outside of those kinds of classes, it's important to note that professors teaching you have their own practice and opinions and ways of thinking and that's gonna be reflected onto what they believe as good or bad art. And that's kind of a good thing in my opinion to be exposed to that in school because once you graduate, um, 
you're gonna need to do client facing work so there's gonna be a lot of shit that you need to deal with and ways that you need to change your work in order to kind of morph to the client's needs. Very rarely, however, you might run into a prof that is ruthless and merciless in how they critique, and being an overworked student, it can be difficult to deal with. I was lucky to never be in any real situations like that, but I do have friends that were absolutely fucking drained and stressed after any kind of interaction with certain profs. So be wary, take care of yourself first always, because it, it can happen. Okay, con number four. How do I get down? Do you think I should jump? Will I break my legs? I can go that way. No, I'll jump. Ow. A creative career doesn't necessarily need a degree. I touched on the opposite side of this argument in the pros, but I wanted to play the other side and talk about why you might not need a degree to be an artist or designer. In most cases, like if you were trying to get hired at a company, a degree would help a lot, but say you wanted to go into comics or create business selling your work online that are okay sorry i'm gonna stand over here because it's way too fucking windy um <laughs> i love this so careers and pursuits that are less dependent on an employer agreeing to hire you or more dependent on your own work ethic and skill don't really require a degree at all in my opinion take comic books for example to create a successful comic book, you need to be a good storyteller, um, a good artist, you need to understand the business side of things. When you put out your comic to the world or you pitch it to a publisher to sell, whether or not it succeeds can be a result of many factors, but whether or not you have a degree is probably not going to be one of them. With the internet being so vital to society and business, there are so many opportunities to build your own income or your own business as a creative online. Look at all the full-time artists who sell their art through Etsy or have a big enough following to be supported through YouTube or Patreon. These alternative career paths are difficult in the way that there's no real set guidelines on how to succeed, but it's very possible even without going to post-secondary. And finally, con number five, and the wind stops. Why did it stop right then? Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna pray that this doesn't open and nobody needs to come through. So number five, it might take a really long time. God, I'm melting. This is too much, okay. So this is kind of the atmosphere with any kind of creative pursuit. Um, even if you do go to school and get a degree in art or design, it might take a really long time to get yourself started or to get your big break in the art and design world. The creative industry tends to reward skill and talent and consistency above all else, and a degree sometimes has nothing to do with it. So my point here is that whether you go to art school or not, don't expect to make it without putting in the time. It is possible to become a successful creative without ever having gone to art school. And in some cases, not going to art school can give you a pretty sizable head start in building your business or your brand, minus the mountain of student loan debt, which is always a plus. In that case, however, you would just have to figure out a lot of stuff on your own and be like ultra hyper fucking motivated to get yourself there without help from any like post-secondary institution or post-secondary resources. <sighs> okay. God, it's hot. I hope that went well. So I'm gonna do the conclusion in my car because it is so fucking windy outside and listen to this nice audio other than maybe the hum of my air conditioning coming through. So nice without wind. So yeah, um, sorry if this video was a little bit confusing. It kind of was for me. Um, I just wanted to do my best to argue both sides because there are definitely pros and cons to both. Whether or not you attend art school is ultimately your decision and is a choice that should be made based on your unique situation. But whatever you do decide, um, as long as you fight through the fucking self-doubt and the fear of the unknown, you will fucking make it. I always kind of gag at myself when I get like this, but I like really truly believe that if you love something so much that you will commit yourself to it and be so dedicated and consistent with it, you will succeed. Not many industries can be broken into out of sure willpower, but it seems like the creative field, you don't have to be like amazing to, to make it or succeed in this industry. You just have to believe in yourself like 110%, be your own fucking cheerleader and just work super hard to get to where you wanna be. That's the magic of creativity. You literally get to make up what is success to you. 
Like there are so many amazing like fine artists that their stuff is weird and like super unconventional, but that's why people love them. And it doesn't take like God-given talent or crazy skill to get there. It takes consistency and dedication. So that is all I have to fucking say about that. Sorry for turning into a motivational speaker, but this is the shit that I fucking believe into my core. And I'm afraid that so many kids out there are going to be making the wrong decisions, going to the wrong schools, pursuing the wrong careers, because that's what they think they need to do to succeed. But I'm telling you, this is, this is your one life and nobody else is gonna live it for you. It doesn't matter what your fucking family says or what you think you need to do to, to succeed in society for society to take you seriously. It's about what you're passionate about and what makes you happy. So do that. That's the easiest thing you can do in life. It, it might be a hard decision to make right now because it's going against maybe the will of your family or just um, what you've been told to do for your whole life, but down the road, you're gonna be so glad that you made it. So yes, that is the end of the video. Holy fucking moly, I am like low-key dehydrated and getting a little hangry. I've been filming out here for hours. It's gonna be a hell of a time editing this because I probably fucked up a lot. But anyways, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, bye.